Denver Museum of Nature and Science has some fun news to share. A new project created by people with disabilities. Stan Bush at the museum tonight. So, Stan, tell us about the new addition. Well, Jim, it's people who have autism, and they are helping here at the museum. You know, usually when you come here, you expect to learn from a discovery from a century ago or maybe a scientific find from millions of years ago. But there's a corner here at the museum where the learning doesn't go back nearly that far. When you use your imagination, a handful of plastic can be just about anything. It's an airplane. That's an airplane? In fact, nothing can be something, too. And maybe even something you don't really want. Oh, thank you very much. What flavor ice cream is this? It's applesauce. It's applesauce ice cream? At the Discovery Zone in the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, learning big concepts starts with learning not just what's around you, but what it could be. You know, it's not like at home, like, don't go in there, don't touch that. Not that that's our home, but in the world at large, right? Julie and Brett Mosley's daughter, Isla, didn't think our talking about the Discovery Zone was as important as what kids could make there. Apparently, it's cupcakes from a pretend pizza oven donated by a group teaching craftsman skills to people with autism. I think it all just makes her a more well-rounded adult because she experiences a lot, you know, so she gets to explore, just explore a lot of things. Programs like this that allow the imagination to run wild are a central part of the museum's mission. The great discoveries that are just down the hallway may start with something like, yeah, Applesauce ice cream. I don't, what am I supposed to do? You have to lick it. I'm going to just uh, like that. What if it's yucky? No, it's not. The Discovery Zone is open every day here at the museum, and it's part of your general admission here. Live tonight in Denver, Stan Bush covering Colorado first.